let us say you are working on an automatic machine there is a problem in the machine and the machine is stopped because it's an automatic machine generally you know there will be multiple you know uh, machines you will be you know managing so you are in a different machine but this particular machine is stopped and how will you, you know, be aware of the fact that okay this machine is stopped and there is an issue there should be an alert mechanism right so that is called as an and on and that's what we are going to learn about in this particular video come let's get started Hi there, this is Anand, your trusted lean manufacturing implementation partner and today we are going to learn about Andon or Andon lights. Some of our regular subscribers know that you know, this is a new initiative where we are asking a question at the end of our uh, videos and you can comment the right answer there and the person who is commenting on all our videos in a particular month, that person will get a, a, a small gift from our side. So we have a question at the end of this video also. So please give your answers in the form of comments. So what is this andon? Andon in Japanese uh, language means lamp, uh, a visual device which will give you some information. That's the whole idea. It's like it's called as a lamp, right? So it's a visual management tool and it highlights the status of operations uh, in, in a particular area in a single glance. That is, whenever there is an abnormality, it will give you a, a visual indication. That's called as hand-on light. And there are two types of hand-on lights. One is a manual hand-on and another one is an automatic hand-on. What is a manual hand-on light? For example, in a shop floor where there is a continuous line production, and let us say we are manufacturing a car, you know, it's a moving uh, assembly line. The, the person in a particular assembly station, he or she has to fix a particular piece in the car. Right? So the line is moving and if there is an issue, right, the person is unable to complete that activity. What they have to do is they'll just pull a string so that you know, the entire you know, line stops and there is an uh, alert now. And so what it does is all the other people know that there is an issue here and they'll quickly come here and solve the issue. So it helps in you know, uh, identifying the quality issue or abnormality and people can take a quick corrective action. That is the whole idea. So this is a manual and done because the person has to manually pull a string or he has to manually highlight the issue that's called as manual hand on and the second one is automatic hand on nowadays if you see a lot of these cnc machines you no know, most of the machines now they come with this you know uh, inbuilt hand on lights where uh, they have this you know a small you know uh, uh, light strip where it will light in different colors when the machine is running it will light in green if there is a small issue it will light uh, light in yellow if the machine is stopped and we need to take some action only then the machine can run so in that case it will it will be in red color right so this is an automatic and on because the machine itself has some sensors or uh, mechanisms to identify the issue and it will highlight it right? so it's called as an automatic and on and on is a part of judoka for example in in our last video where we spoke about judoka in in detail right i have uh, i have given the you know, link of this particular video judoka video here in this uh, corner so you can also watch that video if you are interested. So what is Judoka? Judoka we learnt that you know, uh, it is automation with a human touch. It's called autonomation, right? So the machine has to identify the issue and it will highlight to the uh, user. So in that case, Andon is one of the ways which with, with which uh, the machine is giving signals to the user. So Andon is an integral part of Judoka. That's what we are trying to communicate here. And what are the things that Andon can indicate? For example, it can talk about production status, you no, know, it can talk about. Uh, it can highlight the machine downtime, the quality issue, right? We can we can highlight it through and on. If there is a tooling defect, we can you no know, highlight it through and on. If there are some delays in uh, due to operator or through machine availability or material issue, any delays we can identify it through and on. Like that, we can have and ons for different reasons, right? But generally, it also comes with the missions. And what are the different color codes which we can use for and on? For example, green can be used when the production is normal. It's going on, you no, know, as planned. So there is no uh, constraints or variations there so it is in green so when the light is glowing as yellow color which means there is a small issue and uh, the problem has appeared but we need to take a corrective and preventive action now right otherwise it will become a big issue so that is a signal when uh, the light is glowing at yellow color and then there is a red color which means there is a problem and the machine is stopped so we uh, unless we take some corrective and preventive action it will not move forward so that is the third stage Red color light will come. This is the basic principle of hand on which helps in visual management. So what are the benefits of hand on light? The problems are highlighted immediately, right? Uh, in, in a moving assembly line, the problems are immediately highlighted so that other people can come and they can solve the issue. Because they are solving the issue immediately, the overall quality will improve, right? So there will be less defects. 
and because the defects are less we don't need to spend a lot of time on rework or reprocessing no we don't want to put a lot of manpower for reworking all those things so overall cost will come down the operational cost will get reduced because there is a highlighting mechanism of this and on and if there is a frequent breakdown so people will be forced to take preventive actions right the preventive maintenance will be better because every time the machine stops there will be a alert and everybody will come to know that there is a lot of breakdowns there so people will ask questions why the that particular machine is you know having a lot of breakdown so people will be forced to take some preventive actions and overall machine breakdowns will come down overall reliability and availability of machines will increase everything is available to the operators in a visual manner so it is easy for people to take decision so these are all the benefits of anton i am pretty sure that this particular video is very useful for you thank you very much for watching and you can also subscribe to our channel to get uh, more knowledge about lean and lean tools you can also share it with your friends and team members so that they can also learn and get benefited and we have a subscriber of the week called uh, mr ratna so who has sub subscribed to us in the last week and we have a comment of the week by mr ramesh he says our one of our previous video was very very useful and he says thank you thank you ramesh for supporting and if you are interested in learning more about lean you can consider joining our lean champion course it's a free course just a seven day course with some exercises and once you complete those things you'll get a certificate also it's a free course and if you want to learn more about lean in a in depth manner because you are working in a manufacturing company you want to uh, take lean manufacturing as a you know, next career move etc so you can consider joining our lean master course is just 999 rupees where we talk in depth about lean if you want to learn more about lean and you want to make a career in lean or in your company you want to do a lot of lean projects and you want to look at continuous improvement as a way of life you can also consider joining our lean master course where we have all the lean tools explained in a very very interesting and uh, easy to understand manner so we have covered value stream mapping smed poka ok tpm tqm fibers all those concepts are explained in in depth manner with a lot of templates so that you can use it straight away in your you know uh, office environment another course is manufacturing leadership program where it is like you know you are you are a manager you are having multiple you know uh, 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 people and you want to learn about managing shop floor in a in depth manner for example production purchase quality maintenance safety uh, six sigma soft skills excel skills powerpoint skills all those things which a manager uh, definitely needs in their you know uh, Uh, career those things are covered in manufacturing leadership program both the courses are very very useful we have more than 2500 people in our uh, curriculum in the in this particular course and they gave a very good you know feedback and we have people ranging from a junior engineer to a senior gm vp level people also both the courses are available just at just 999 rupees please consider joining this i have given the link in the description thank you very much for watching before i go i want to ask the question for this particular video the question is and on cannot be used in implementing judoka is it true or false so option a is true option b is false please give your comments in the video so thank you very much for watching this video i'll talk to you in the next video see you bye